all right, so here I am today. I'm playing some video games, you know, start YouTube, do YouTube, whatever. Do what I do. Um, yeah, so today I will be playing Batman Return to Arkham, Arkham Asylum. Uh, I've played this game so many times before, I honestly can't even tell you how many times I've played this game. Um, I'll be going ahead and starting a new game and uh, just see how it goes. Hard difficulty because if I play on anything less, then uh, it's just not going to be as fun. I like a little challenge in my games. You know what? I'm missing a very important part. Something felt off. And now I know exactly what it was. I can't hear game audio. So here it goes. Hey, there we go. Okay, so now I can hear the game. Um, yeah, again, I've seen this cutscene a billion times. I, I when the um, when the demo first came out for the PS3, I. Uh, played the hell out of it. I can't tell you how many times I played that demo. It was absurd. I remember um, when the game first came out, uh, like at the day it came out, my dad was picking it up from wherever he pre-ordered it from, probably GameStop or something. And um, I had been playing the demo over and over and over again in anticipation for him to get home. And that was at the time when I was still a little kid. I think I must have been in fifth grade, sixth grade, something like that. And... Um, and I was only allowed to play video games on the weekends. So, and of course, video games come out on weekdays. So I had given up a day uh, on the weekend so I could play on the weekday. And then when he get, when he came home, he's like, no, you can't do that. And uh, so I didn't get to play until that Friday, unfortunately. But you know what? I got to play it eventually. So as long as I got to play it, and oh boy, did I play it, then uh, I'm happy. And this is another cutscene that I've seen a billion times, at least that very beginning. And then there's this whole sequence, which is admittingly tedious. I think this is probably my least f favorite part of the game because I just want to get to the game already instead of just walking around following Joker throughout intensive treatment. But, you know, whatever. I will admit that the first time I played it, it was a really cool experience, but yeah, after playing this game, however many times I've played this game, it does get a bit boring. And I am playing the Return to Arkham version because I'm using the game DVR in the Xbox, so, uh, because I have no capture card. And uh, they did not make Arkham Asylum or City Backwards compatible yet. So, here I am playing Return to Arkham. Which I don't mind at all. That's funny, I, when I first played this game, I never realized that it had the extra prongs next to the middle one and the bat symbol. I always thought it was just, you know, the normal five prongs down on the bottom, but I never realized I had the two from the middle, like the 1989 bat symbol. Well, except, you know, the wider version of the bat symbol, not the circular version. And this is where it starts the whole, um, whatchamacallit, the whole tutorial, I guess. First instruction is how to zoom. I don't know how long I'm going to be recording these sessions for. Um, maybe 20, 30 minutes at most. I'll, I'll probably, it'll probably range from that time. I'll have, uh, I'll figure out a good stopping point when I do. And it's funny because I'm looking at the camera and I keep on looking at the uh, preview and not the actual camera. So it might look a little weird. 
in retrospect, it'd probably be better if I just looked, or if I just closed the preview, but oh well. I really forgot how long this intro. This might be the whole first video, just this intro. <laughs> I remember reading like the preview or the prequel comic or whatever. It was, uh, I think it was, for, it was only for the PSP when back when PSPs were a thing. Uh, it was a free comic that you could download, and it was, it explained like leading up to this event with Batman capturing Joker and the fire happening at Blackgate and all that stuff was well I mean it wasn't anything notable it was just set up for the game but it was pretty cool whatever just be quick we following procedure patient seems to be in satisfactory condition looks like he suffered minor lacerations probably in the last 2 hours I don't see any lacerations you can't prove that need to take my temperature i'd be happy to drop my pants they definitely made his costume significantly more black in Return to Arkham than it was in the original game. It did definitely definitely had a blue sheen to it. I remember when I first saw this part, I was so excited. This is just ridiculously cool. Killer Croc is insanely huge. Just everything about this game was just... Aww, just let me awestruck. I was... It was crazy. I remember um, well, back when the game was still in development, and uh, at one point, they Septon Hill had a video where he was narrating over the uh, um, the, uh, the the Predator encounter or the the Predator challenge map, uh, Silent Night, and uh, and my dad and I were both watching it, and I think that was like the moment where I knew that I was gonna love the hell out of this game because. That was just crazy. Just everything that he was showing off, all the mechanics, all of it. My dad and I were just insanely excited. And yeah, this game is just... Uh, man, I cannot tell you how many times I've played this game. I know I've said that a bunch of times already, but... It's an absurd amount of times. Including 100% in the game. I mean... I, I feel like I know this island like the back of my hand, and especially the Riddler trophies and stuff like that. I, I know I feel like I know where most of them are. It's it's probably unhealthy, but it's fun. <laughs> this part was really cool too. I remember um in Arkham Knight uh, when they did a reference to this part, I had to take a screenshot while wearing the Arkham Asylum skin, just because I thought it was a cool nod. This part is so long. I'm 10 minutes into the video, or almost 10 minutes into the video, and uh, still going. Still on the intro. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Oh, nothing much. Hundreds dying in pain and fear. All their meaningless lives brought to a horrifying conclusion. All thanks to you and a book of matches. Was that the answer you hey, we're finally getting to the start of the game. Oh yeah, this part was really cool. What's he doing? Stay where you are. Get a flashlight. Get a light on him. What? Don't you trust me? And then Hugh next cutscene with Commissioner Gordon. Honestly, now that I think about it, I've seen the beginnings of these cutscenes so many times. Because after I played the game probably three or four times, I just started skipping all the cutscenes. So, uh, yeah, there's probably some stuff that I don't remember.
like I remember this specific part, this shot, just going down to Commissioner Gordon and Batman walking in. That's like burned into my memory. Hasn't Commissioner Gordon changed his voice like every ma every game in the Arkham series? I'm pretty sure. Hey, there's Frank Bowles drinking from his flask. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to have any importance later on. Who knows? I like the idea that Batman can just punch through bulletproof glass. This shot right here too. Oh my gosh! Well, this was in all the trailers and stuff like that. And here we finally get to the game. I totally forgot I put it on hard mode, and there was no uh, counter icon. Man, I played this game so much. This first encounter is burned to the back of my brain. And like this right here, I remember when I played the demo, I always opened this vent just to get the Riddler trophy, even though, you know, it didn't really do much in the demo except give you the Riddler bio, but still pretty cool. Oh, counter too early. Yep, yep, yep. It, man, it gets really boring when you start off the game because you're missing all the good combo, uh, like the, the the throw or the takedown. Or ah, oh, come on, I totally hit him. And uh, yeah, you only have the battering too. I know the quick fire gadgets or gadgets in general. This is what I do every single time I'm waiting for this for this part. Um, I mean, if I could start scanning right now, I would go ahead and scan this room, get this riddle, riddle done and over with. Usually this is one of the last places I go to when I'm doing Riddler trophies. The penitentiary is the last place because of how the Spirit of Arkham uh, side mission slash collectible thing goes. But, uh... No, this is like the second to last, uh, last second second to last place that I usually visit. Of course it is. Go ahead and just destroy all those ruler teeth. And there's another one right there. I keep on running down the corridor. Yep, I know how to run. There's a rat or a mouse or whatever. No, I'm pretty sure it's a rat. Arkham. Probably has rats. And then... Bam. And there's that guard over there. And usually, I just run right past the guard. But you know what? Might as well go talk to him. Since this is a playthrough, although I'm not like doing a whole 100% thing. or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how much fun I'm having with this. Oh. I, uh, I forgot that my laptop likes to go to sleep, and I'm recording audio from my laptop. So, I will go ahead and change the setting in my laptop to not go to sleep, because it's currently plugged in anyway. Okay. I forgot how to do it. <laughs> This is part. This is cool too. When Oracle showed up, I had no clue she was gonna be in the game. 
Um, 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 um. Is my dad still there? Commissioner Gordon is safe. Joker's not far ahead. I'll oh, stay. I ran into a wall. Let us go. You'll only end up in more trouble if you continue. I'm just going to talk to these guys while they try and fix this. He's got Mike. He's strapped. Mm -hmm. He's lost. Wait here. You can't. He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. He won't see me. I see anything that okay. looks a little bit like a bat, and this guard dies. Do you hear me? All right, there we go. Now it should be fixed, so it should not go to sleep or go to the screensaver or whatever. Okay, again, bat claw. Just you know, get that right there. Get it done over with right now. But that's not a. Uh, I can't do that right now. Victor Freeze or Victor's ass. He wants to kill the guard. You know. He needs to kill the guard. Okay, and then yeah, I'm not gonna worry about talking to these guys. Just need to activate detective boats so I can um start grappling the gargos. And then I think I'll go for a silent takedown right here. No knockout smash yet introduced in the next game, unfortunately, because I, uh, it makes things quicker and easier. And here we get Harley. I usually skip the cutscenes. Regularly scheduled program. I've been going for about 20 minutes. Okay. That's not too bad. Whoa. Maxi Zeus. I'll be back for that. I wonder what could possibly be in this event right here. Is that a Riddler trophy? Who would have thought? Go ahead and pop that open. Harley thinks she has me trapped in this chamber. She never was very bright. It's always based on interpretation. Sometimes Harley's just a ditz, and other times she's actually pretty smart. It's so weird how it changes. You'd think that'd be a character trait that's pretty well maintained throughout the entirety of her history, but I guess not. Batman, I'm patching you into the guard radio feed. Steve, more Blackgate prisoners. By the boiler. And, uh, yeah, I remember this was different from the demo. I remember playing the demo a bunch of times, and then when I finally played this game and I got to this part, I'm like, this isn't how the vent goes. What the heck's going on? So I got that. That one's pretty hard to miss. And then, um... No, not yet. There we go. I don't know why I thought they were behind. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and grapple up there when it lets me, because you know it doesn't want to let me right now because I have to get all this information from this guard and I just hit the cord from the mic and you might hear that, but I don't know. Yes, yes, I will actually. Okay. Go ahead and pop open another vent. You know, they should really keep open keep a list of how many vents you pop. That should be a statistic that's available. You're gonna be Stay here. Run and jump. And then grapple. That was really loud. <laughs> and then rescue the next guard. 
And then finally, the Choker Thug. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to hit the wall and fall. This part was pretty funny, too. Does that mean I get to level up? No, not yet. Go ahead and throw that right there. And then uh, there's that Joker Teeth right there. Go ahead and throw a Batarang at that. When it lets me. It let me. And then there's a Riddler Trophy somewhere in here. There's also the Joker Teeth. Is it right here? Yeah, got new upgrades. I always start off with the um with the combat upgrades, just because I don't know. I feel like that's what you do the most, and combat can be pretty tedious, especially when you don't have the um um what should we call it uh the the the, the critical strikes. When you don't have the critical strikes, it, it, combat gets especially tedious. Where was that? Oh, is it is down here? There it is. I knew there was something over here. And then just double check. Okay, nothing. Just making sure. And then nothing over here yet. Another Joker teeth. And then some thugs over here. You know, two birds, one stone. Or two thugs, one kick. However you want to put it. Uh, hey, Tomb Raider Underworld is ready to start. What do you know? So go ahead and do that. And then this part. And then I remember uh, this is the part where you get to after you the first predator encounter. Well, not the first predator encounter. Technically, it's the second predator encounter. But you know what I mean. The first big predator encounter in the demo. And then, um, yeah, and then the demo cut here. You didn't get to fight the titan thug, titan monster, titan whatever, however you want to put it. But uh, now I can because I have the full game. And this is another one of the tedious ones because there's no set health bar or anything like that. It's just you gotta keep on messing with him until he's done. Until his heart gives out. Go ahead and evade out of the way. And then do some punching. Okay, now what? Another battering. And do some more punching. And now he's gonna throw a guard at me. And then now I get to evade. And then he's gonna do it one more time. Is it one more time? It might be two more times. I don't know. I can't really remember at this point. Oh crap. Yep, that hit me. I was a little too close. Alright, is that it? Or is he gonna do it one more time? Um, nope, yep, yeah, one more time. Definitely one more time. He's gonna hit the. Yep, he's gonna hit the electric fence too. I think this is it. I think. We'll see. Maybe. It might be different because it's hard. And, yep, that was it. Okay, cool. Hey, look, really trophy. Another one. There's, what, 240 in this game? I believe so. 240 in this game, and then 400 in Arkham City. Well, 440 if you want to count the Catwoman ones. And then, I think it goes back to 240 in Night. I don't remember exactly how many. I've only 100%ed Origins one time. And, uh... Yeah, it's... I don't know. Origins was fun. It was. I enjoyed the story and everything. It was fun gameplay, but I don't know. Something felt off about it. I never really wanted to play it again. I mean, I played it again, but I've never wanted to 100% it again. Like, I've played the story and stuff like that, but... I never felt like 100%ing it again. Especially since, uh... Um, well, I mean, I got it on the 360, and, uh... They didn't include it in Return to Arkham, so there was no achievements to get. And then I just got it on PC, like, about a month ago. I just got all of the Arkham games on PC about a month ago, and then I've been playing through them there, and um, I haven't gotten to Origins yet, because I just play them in release order. 
and then uh and i don't know how much i mean i'm probably gonna get all the achievements and anything like that, or at least you can get because they shut the multiplayer uh, servers down which sucks i'm glad i got all the achievements in 360 before they did that but uh yeah that, that those multiplayer achievements could be a, was it working they were a pain <laughs> Better press day. They came out of nowhere. I dragged Jerry in here. Powered up again. <sighs> Must have passed out. Okay. Joker went through that. A little tired. Door. What's on the other side? We call it extreme isolation. Only way in is via the transport system. Okay. Open it. Not a problem. I'll just need to call another cell. And then, um. Yeah, the area you went to, there's a. That was one of the challenge maps in the PS3. There were two challenge maps in the PS3 that were exclusive to the PS3, in addition to Joker as a playable character being exclusive to PS3. But yeah, they never brought those challenge maps back, which was really weird. I don't know why they at the very least didn't bring them back for this game. But, uh, oh well. Hmm. <sighs> I'm a little tired. Okay, it's it's been almost half an hour. I think that's a pretty good. I think that's a pretty good stopping point. And then we go ahead and stop there. First video done. Maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is a pretty good stopping point. Okay. So. Uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is the end of the video. I'll go ahead and start the next one. Probably in about five minutes from my perspective. I don't know how much longer for your perspective. Okay, so it was fun. I uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's been fun. I I like making videos. So uh, yeah. Bye. I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Bye. See ya. See you in the next one. Sayonara. I don't know man, I'm just I'm just making YouTube videos.